All right, what is up? I got way too excited, so I already went ahead and ripped apart the package, but I ordered an M3 wheel. You guys can see it's in the Alcantara. It's been rewrapped. It's not a terrible job. A couple corners I saw that scare me a little bit in the future, but we'll cross that bridge when we go there. Got this for $400 Canadian came with came with this headpiece as well but it's to no surprise it's gonna be a huge upgrade compared to this original 2000 323 wheel just really outdated i feel like once we put this new wheel on it's gonna bring a little more years to the car. First step in installing this, you guys are gonna need a flathead of some type. And my wheel came with this already put in the air, I guess is the airbag, the horn, whatnot. You are gonna wanna take a screwdriver and pretty much put it through here. You're just going to want to push that bar forward like such. This is the angle you're going to want to go at. I was having to go with her for a bit before I got the springs actually uh, disconnected. I actually went ahead and tried to pull the entire piece off right away. And it was just way too difficult. So I ended up looking a video up and very quickly I realized there's these two springs in here put a flathead in i'm assuming this wheel it feels like it's going to be the same so i'm going to go through the same process and then we'll be able to get the actual bolt off the headpiece and get this lined up so i'm trying to get this screwdriver put into the Right there. Be good. Alright guys, so it turns out this steering wheel is actually bolted in T25s. Um, I don't know if I have any of these with me. I'm at my house right now. So. Alright guys, so I ended up looking back behind here and I found that there's a Torx. So I'm pretty sure it's a Torx 30. So... I didn't even end up going to the shop. I'm still here on the street. Um, I have this in my garage. This is really the best tool I have right now. This uh, Mastercraft Torx Allen set. So this is our Torx 30. I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen it up. Uh, I have my phone charging. It's almost dead and that's all I have to film. So I'm trying to get a little bit more battery in the phone before I go ahead and unplug the battery in the car and actually unplug the steering wheel. So. So these are the bolts that are gonna be behind. It is a T30. Once you get those out, this piece is gonna pop out right here. Uh, This guy, and then this looks about a 14, 16. I'm gonna go inside and hopefully we have one of these in the garage and I'll be able to pull this off. You guys can see this is the other bolt right here. All right, this is what we're working with. A bunch of Canadian tire money. That's the right size. So these are all the bolts I found that I think could be the size. We're gonna go try them all out. The only one that kind of fits. It's got a little play in it though. I don't know if we want to risk that. Gotta lock that wheel up first. If this if this goes, it's stripped. It's done. It's done. Back in the garage, these are the last two bolts that would even potentially fit a 16 
and a 17. We tried an 18. So we're gonna go out. You guys can see it's absolutely pouring. I really hope this works. All right, let us see. Snug, we're good. So let's see if we can crack this. Ah. Yeah. Alright, I can't get this by hand. I'm gonna have to run back inside. It's pouring out. And I'm gonna have to get a pipe or something. Back. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, there she is. Cracked. Just like that. I had to bring this to the shop anyways because I want to put this on the car. So I'll put it there for now. Look at that. And ta-da. Easy as that. And now we have a new wheel. Go ahead and line it up. All right, guys, so wheel's all back in. I'm gonna zoom in here and show them so you guys can see. This is the nice thing with going OEM with parts is plug, plug. We're gonna go put this bolt back in. Tighten them up. All right, guys, we got a trusty muffler, the minute muffler. Let's go ahead, get that torque to spec. Feels good. Definitely a lot thicker than the other wheel was. Like it, uh, a lot more presence in the car. It feels like it comes out a little more. I like the Alcantara feel. So now to get this last piece of the puzzle. This is kind of like such. Boom. Okay. And then we just click her back into place and uh I think that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an M3 wheel installed on a non-M BMW. And I think it just looks good. It gives more presence. Uh it's I definitely wanna see how it feels when it drives. So maybe we'll fire her up and uh, take her for a spin around the block. Let's fire her up. I can reach it there. That's a nice feel. It's a thick wheel. Really thick wheel. It's pouring rain right out. Keep in mind, we still have a welded diff. The car is going to drive a little funky around the corners. And we still need to get the alignment. The wheel did not fix the alignment, unfortunately. Mind you, it feels like it, the wheel is a little straighter. 